Well, I've always been a rock hound since I was a kid, and I yeah. got it naturally from my mom and with piles of rocks everywhere I went. And um, like I mentioned earlier, I lived 15 years in Charlotte before I came back, and there I stumbled upon the Gem and Mineral Show. And it was over. I was just like walked out. Went, oh my gosh! It was just amazing stones with holes in them. I'm like I can wear these. And so oh my that's God. great. Yeah. So I was just thrilled to be able. You know, there's there was vendors from around the world. Oh and yeah. And so you don't just get the little tiny little cheesy stuff. Maybe you get a like a little craft store. These were. I am a tall person, and I was just like. I don't like delicate little mm -hmm. house frau kind of stuff. And I was just like, oh, I'm an artist. And I was just like, mm, I'm with some big chunky stones. Bold. So that's where it started. And um, friends and family were just like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Can I buy that? So <laughs> it, it, it became a problem in that I was like, oh, well, I'm buying these for my friends and stuff. But then I was like, oh, you know, one for them, one for me, you know? <laughs> so yeah. I ends up, I have a really large collection of jewelry to sell. And I just love it. I'll go through phrases like I'm working on collage, assemblages, blah, blah, blah. But then I have a stage in a year, I do beading and jewelry. And I yeah. just like totally zone in on that and love combining things. And then I even have a, like a winter time, usually like I do sewing and you know, so it's nice I can shift around from different media and. Well, so uh, on this piece, so for this piece here, mm -hmm. um, the one with the, the big red, I'm gonna say pendulum, what, tell me, what are all what are all are all of those rocks are they stone it's what, a a, what mix. kind of mix do we have um i tend to work with only natural stones but this might be the one case i didn't <laughs> yeah um I, this is i i think is a wood well that's natural wood yeah and it's painted and crackled so it's i'm just saying i guess it's not a stone um these kind of little cheerios mm -hmm. are colored um stone and it's probably like a mucolite Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's easily dyed. And the black are bits, uh, like coconut shells oh. that have been dyed and kind of buffed out. And there's little, these little red bits are red coral. Um, silver bits, these are not sterling silver. These um, costume silver, mm -hmm. more tribal. Yeah. And these are uh, n new, but they have an African um, vibe about so them. So I've got, okay, I got a crazy idea. Would you do me a favor? Can mm -hmm. you hold that up? Sure. And as if you get to put put that on so that I can. Yeah, people get an idea of how. Yeah, I want to see it. Because it's a yeah. longer one. And. Um, it's a beautiful piece. And thank you. And it's, I got to say, it's heavy. If you're a lady or dude that um, can't tolerate too much weight around their neck. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's great. But uh, I think it's a, it's a fun piece. I that's think. fun. Yeah. Okay. If you're Talk spicy. to me about this. This is gorgeous. Oh, well, thanks. Um, this is one of the first beads I was attracted to on the very first adventure in the Bead and Gems show. Uh, it's like a white and black agate, and I think that comes from Africa also. Mm -hmm. And it was it was cool because I have studied different stones and like had some knowledge walking in there, going, "Oh yeah, yeah, blah blah blah. I understand what that is." And you know, um, these this uh, solid tube mm -hmm. beads are onyx, and this is faceted, um, might be faceted black tourmaline. Okay. Um, and then this is, um, I'm not sure what kind of black stone this is, but it has some little festive sparkles on top and uh, tiny little hematite beads. It's actually, its nickname is bloodstone because of all the iron in it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, thank you. Those are really wonderful. Looks snazzy with black or like on red or whatever. So I know one of the questions that some people are going to have, mm -hmm. uh, especially on these, and that is, if they aren't lucky enough to be one of the ones to, to win the bids on these, where would they go? Often I will put things up on my Facebook. So, but if somebody <laughs> went to your Facebook page. They can get a hold of me. Or went to, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. If they went to your Facebook page, what is, uh, and is, uh, is it Avid? Avid, A-V-I-D. Okay, yeah. okay. If they went to one of those, they could find you and yeah. then they could say, hey, what kind of jewelry you got, Rachel? Yeah, totally. If you go to the Front Street uh, page, all the artists there are listed and you can also find, connect to me under there. Great, great. Yeah. This is wonderful, Rachel, thank you. Well, thank I you I really so appreciate much. you being part of this. Oh, definitely, it's exciting. Great. Thanks for asking. Thank you.